what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about saw x we'll be talking about i know what you did last summer we'll be talking about crystal lake final destination 6 and we'll conclude it with an update on from season 3 for those of you who are fans of that show i'll be talking about the alleged filming dates as well as going over a casting call detailing the new characters you can expect to appear in the upcoming third season of that hit show so Starting off with Saw 11, here's some clarity on Kevin Gruder's comments about Cecilia returning in Saw 11 from the Saw X commentary track. He said, I like to think that Cecilia will be back, but at this point, we don't know what that movie would be. Now, granted, I don't know when this audio commentary track was also recorded. It might have been recorded months ago, and they definitely have an idea months later now, given we're in December, but who knows? He goes on to say, but she's going to be pretty evil. I mean, she was evil enough, so how... She was evil enough, so how can she get any more evil? But you'll just, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Also, over on Twitter, Josh Stolberg, who wrote the last three Saw entries, has confirmed they would not be writing the next entry or at least wouldn't be involved in any capacity when it comes to the writing department. Josh replied to a fan saying, Thanks, yes, Pete and I will be taking a break from Saw in reference to uh, Peter Goldfinger, the co-writer of the last few Saw movies, I think, as well. He says him and Pete will be taking a break from soft or a bit to focus on other projects, feeling lucky about doing three and happy to go out on a banger, which I think me and many others would agree Saw X was the best out of the three we had gotten in the last few years. He says, well, believe me, you're in good hands, implying that whoever's taking over the creative reins is going to hopefully do a job that is living up to what we just got with Saw X. But obviously, of course, the general public, diehard fans, you'll be the judge of if the next Saw movie is even good. I do want to point this out, though. Shout out to UK for sharing this with me. Production Weekly actually has Saw 11 marked as being in active development with Toronto as a filming location. So we'll have to wait and see how true and accurate that is and what Saw 11 will present to us with a whole new creative team since Josh and Peter are out. Jumping into I Know What You Did Last Summer, Jennifer Love Hewitt, surprise, surprise, has expressed interest in returning for I Know What You Did Last Summer 3. I know there is a third movie, but I'm not referring to that movie as I Know What You Did Last Summer 3 because of how Sony is treating their upcoming revival. Keep in mind, Sony was reportedly working on a revival with Prince and Hewitt in talks to return, but we haven't heard anything since. Lee McKendrick is supposed to be writing the screenplay while Caitlin Robinson is directing. The pitch also was reportedly a hit with Prince and Hewitt, so I'm surprised this question wasn't phrased a little differently. She recently was on the Inside of You podcast where she said she'd be down for a third film, which was interesting because Sony wants a legacy sequel based on the report from this year. I was just sitting there thinking, why didn't she just talk about the project or comment even a little? Because her not acknowledging it makes it seem as though there's no truth to the report from Deadline and Variety, two very reputable outlets who I'm sure certain didn't just make that up. But regardless, I think slasher fans would love a franchise return that takes their attention away from the Scream drama. If you're still down about Spyglass's lackluster handling of Scream 7 so far, I will say this also. Will Benson can't possibly have more relatives that want revenge all these years later, can he? So I'm curious how a true third movie would work, but that's where the newbies come in, I guess. We'll have to just wait and see how that all comes together as well, because I did find it interesting that Jennifer didn't even reference the fact that she was in talks to already be returning for the upcoming revival. Maybe we'll get clarity on that soon. Diving into Crystal Lake. So Crystal Lake is aiming to begin filming next spring or summer, according to Brian Fuller, who replied to a fan on Instagram a few days ago. I don't know why I saw some people thinking that they had already shot the show, but no, they have not done that. We don't even have cast details beyond Adrian King returning and Kevin Williamson writing an episode that Adrian is starring in. It can't be airing in 2024 anymore unless it's aiming for a very late 2024 release in December, since December has a Friday the 13th that month of next year. We've heard that Elias, Vo Elias Voorhees is rumored to be involved in the story as we dig deeper into Pamela and Jason's history. Also, a veteran 80s writer is rumored to be involved with the project as well. I still will not be disclosing the name until it becomes official, but I'm excited about the possibilities with this person. If this person isn't revealed, I will just come out and say who I heard was rumored to be involved with the project. And if it's a completely different name, I'll tell you 
the name I was told even still. But once it's confirmed, I'll acknowledge it. And with Fuller himself acknowledging the show's filming, I was sitting there going, this is a sign that he likely isn't going anywhere and those allegations didn't harm his involvement with the show, which I would also say might not be the case for my own interpretation. And he's simply still in the know about filming and decided to share it with a fan on IG for whatever reason. But take from that what you will, Crystal Lake, I know a lot of you are looking forward to the show. You were disappointed when I put out that tweet on Sunday or so this week that filming would start in spring or summer of next year, but we're getting there. It's going to take some time. I would think the, if the show is not airing in late 2024, earliest it would be a spring of 2025. So diving into Final Destination 6. Tony Todd has acknowledged his return to the Final Destination series by confirming Final Destination 6 was still in the pipeline for him. He replied to a fan over on Twitter. Shout out to you. You know who you are. Previously, it was reported that his character would be returning anyway, but he's kind of openly acknowledged it for the very first time with this tweet. I haven't seen him acknowledge it in any other capacity besides a retweet, but this is a little bit more evident that he's he's back, at least to me. William Bloodworth's backstory would also be explored a bit according to that report, but our story is mostly again set on a family with Esther and Stephanie, who is our protagonist. So is Bloodworth connected to the family? Time will tell, but it was nice to see him openly acknowledge his participation now that the strike is over. I'll continue to predict for now that this is Esther's son, or at least one of two she possibly has, and he's Stephanie's uncle who was present during the tower collapse in the 60s. He survived and became obsessed or fascinated by death, so he went into the line of work that we've seen the franchise present to us. Maybe that's as deep as the origins go for him, and if so, that's enough. Diving into from season three now from season three is our last topic of discussion it is listed on production weekly to be starting filming on december 11th but i've actually been given a casting call for the upcoming show that details filming from march to june of 2024 next year so if there's no filming on december 11th or any time this month i guess we know which date seems to be more accurate december 11th also is originally sourced from a casting agency in nova scotia so they don't have any reason to lie dates can always change um from from filming location again is in nova scotia it's in canada i believe whatever we know season two ended with tabitha being shoved to her death or so we thought and upon awakening we see that she is in this like modern hospital so she's clearly escaped the loop that they all were trapped in in fromville so once she realizes she's back in reality it cut to black and then we were just left with questions so here are some character roles in the upcoming show with a couple of names here or descriptions likely giving insight into tabitha's attempts to call her family so one character with a very specific name out of the plethora that are here is in someone named nikki this is a colony house resident who is angry that a fellow resident is monopolizing the bathroom and then you have a priest described as being soothing and reassuring this priest tries to put a congregate at ease ready to listen to her confession then you have a worker. This construction worker and his colleagues make repairs on a building. They are confused and angry when they are suddenly disturbed by a stranger. I'd have to assume that's Tabitha trying to get help after escaping the hospital. Then you have Colony House Resident 1, Colony House Resident 2. Let's see what else we have here. These are the interesting ones. You have Instagrammers 1 and Instagrammers 2. These young women are enjoying sharing pics with each other un unnerved when a stranger approaches to use their phone again the likely assumption right now is going to have to be tabitha interrupting these instagrammers using their phones and trying to get con or trying to make contact with her family she can't be doing it in fromville because i don't think anyone has any any cell phones from what i recall they don't have any phones that work so this definitely is happening in that reality that she's now present in because she's escaped and she's going to try to make contact with her family through these people using their instagram accounts or whatever then you have a nurse who's described as being gentle manner the nurse gives an update to a doctor then you have an orderly the hospital orderly is taken aback when they run into a patient has to be tabitha having some type of outburst in the hospital i would assume then you have a character named mother you have a police officer 
Then there's a role for an 11 year old boy, an 11 year old boy who is startled when a stranger suddenly grabs hold of his shoulder and spins him around. So not a lot of things that are overly too specific other than the fact that Tabitha likely will make contact or try to make contact with her family through Instagrammers and construction workers and hospital orderlies possibly will cause havoc before escaping the hospital. When I say havoc, I don't mean anything too overly dramatic, just kind of trying to understand where she's at. She might just walk out peacefully from what we've seen her. She doesn't seem to be someone to cause trouble. The only overly specific name we got was Nikki, who was a colony house resident that's angry that a fellow resident is monopolizing the bathroom. It's a speaking role, but we don't know how significant Nikki will even be. We'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.